St. Francis of Assisi, a revered figure in Christian history, is celebrated for his profound impact on service and love, peace and care for creation and the environment. His life and teachings continue to inspire and influence people worldwide. This presentation delves into three themes of service and love, peace and the care for creation. Service and love St. Francis of Assisi epitomized the spirit of service and love, dedicating his life to serving others and showing compassion to all living beings. His commitment to living a life of poverty and humility was a testament to his deep love for Christ and his desire to emulate his life. Richard Rohr, in his book Eager to Love, emphasizes that Francis and his followers embraced an inner authority derived from their willingness to let go of worldly attachments and suffer for the sake of others. This inner transformation allowed Christians to serve without seeking recognition or reward. Francis's service extended beyond mere charity. It was a radical form of solidarity with the poor and marginalized. He believed that true gospel authority was not found in hierarchical positions, but in serving others with humility and love. St. Francis moved from the majors or upper class to one affiliated with the poor or minors. This approach is evident in his interactions with lepers and the impoverished, where he not only provided aid but also embraced their suffering as his own. Francis's actions mirrored Jesus' teaching in John 13, 14, 15, where he washed his disciples' feet, demonstrating that true leadership comes from serving others selflessly. Pope Francis, in his apostolic exhortation Evangelii Gaudium, echoes this sentiment. True faith in the incarnate Son of God is inseparable from self-giving, from membership in the community, from service, from reconciliation with others, e.g. 88. Similarly, in Laudato Si, he highlights the importance of service as a reflection of our faith. We are called to care for those who are poor and weak and to promote integral development and the common good, LS 158. Moreover, St. Francis' establishment of the Order of Friars Minor, commonly known as the Franciscans, institutionalized his vision of service. The friars lived in poverty, preached the gospel, and served the needy, embodying Francis's ideals of love and humility. This order continues to be a beacon of Francis' commitment to service, impacting countless lives through their charitable works and dedication to the poor. Peace St. Francis' commitment to peace is perhaps best exemplified by his daring visit to the Sultan of Egypt during the Fifth Crusade. In a time marked by intense Christian-Muslim conflict, Francis's actions were revolutionary. He crossed cultural and religious boundaries, seeking dialogue and understanding instead of conflict. This encounter with Sultan Malik al kamil is detailed in various historical accounts and highlights Francis' dedication to peace and reconciliation. Francis's approach to peace was deeply rooted in his spirituality. He believed that peace could only be achieved through understanding and loving one's enemies. This is reflected in his words, Love your enemies and do good to those who hate you. His visit to the Sultan was not just a political act but a profound spiritual gesture showing that true peace comes from seeing the humanity in others and bridging divides through love and respect. Pope Francis, in his encyclical Fratelli Tutti, draws on the example of St. Francis to advocate for universal brotherhood and peace. St. Francis did not wage a war of words aimed at imposing doctrines. He simply spread the love of God. FT3. Richard Rohr also reflects on Francis's peace-building efforts, noting that true mysticism allows us to see God in all people which is the foundation of lasting peace. Furthermore, Pope Francis reiterates the need for a spirit of dialogue and encounter, as exemplified by St. Francis. Dialogue among the different religions is a necessary condition for contributing to peace in the world. FT 284 This underscores the continuing relevance of St. Francis' approach to peace in our contemporary world. The legacy of Francis's peace efforts continues in the modern-day Franciscan missions in the Holy Land. These missions, established in part due to Francis' influence, aim to promote peace and understanding between different religious communities. The Franciscans' role as guardians of the holy places and their commitment to interfaith dialogue underscore the enduring impact of Francis's peace-building efforts. Care for creation and the environment St. Francis of Assisi is often hailed as the patron saint of ecology, reflecting his deep reverence for all of creation. His famous Canticle of the Sun, a hymn celebrating the beauty and interconnectedness of nature, captures his profound respect for the environment. In this canticle, 
Francis personifies elements of nature as brother sun and sister moon, emphasizing the familial relationship humans have with creation. Every year on the Sunday nearest his October 4 feast day, thousands of Catholic, Episcopalian, and Protestant churches around the world host worship services where animals are blessed. Many of these ceremonies include Francis, Canticle of Brother Son. The influence of Francis' ecological vision is evident in the modern environmental movement. His theology of creation, which views nature as a sacred trust, challenges the exploitative practices that have led to environmental degradation. The Vatican's recognition of Francis, as the patron saint of ecology in 1980, highlights the enduring relevance of his message in today's efforts to promote environmental stewardship and sustainability. Francis' environmental ethic was not merely poetic but also practical. He believed that all creatures were a reflection of God's glory and deserved protection and care. This belief led St. Francis to preach to animals and take concrete actions to protect them, such as preventing the slaughter of lambs in markets. Inspired by his example, Pope Francis highlights the importance of protecting biodiversity and preserving natural habitats. He calls for efforts to prevent the extinction of species and the destruction of ecosystems in Laudatio Assi. Protestant theologian Sally McFaig's work explores the relationship between Christianity and environmental ethics. She draws inspiration from St. Francis' view of creation, stating, We must learn to see the world as our body, our very self. We are interrelated, interdependent beings, part of the web of life that includes not just humans but all creatures, all ecosystems. St. Francis' actions were a radical departure from the prevailing attitudes of his time, which often saw nature as something to be exploited rather than cherished. Franciscan Richard Rohr states, We are late in realizing that the world is one, sacred community. Our theology has often been too human-centered, ignoring our interconnectedness with all of creation. Similar in an article published in Sydney Morning Herald 2015, Cardinal George Pell criticizes Pope Francis over climate change stance and questioning the validity of human-induced climate change where human pollution and release of carbon was put in doubt. As Pope Francis states, people must undertake a eco-conversion where we radically embrace simplicity in our lifestyles and choices in order to adequately care for creation. In conclusion, St. Francis of Assisi's life and teachings offer a profound model of service, peace, and care for creation, modeled on the person of Jesus Christ. His unwavering commitment to serving others, embracing humility, and fostering peace through dialogue and understanding, continues to inspire Christians and non-Christians alike. By recognizing the sacredness of all creation and advocating for a harmonious relationship with nature, St. Francis challenges us to adopt a more ecologically mindful and compassionate approach to life. Contemporary leaders and theologians, including Pope Francis and Sally McFaig, draw on his legacy to emphasize the importance of ecological stewardship and interdependence. As Christians navigate the complexities of the modern world, St. Francis's example reminds us that true faith is inseparable from the love and care we extend to all beings and the environment. Through this holistic and integrated vision, we can strive to create a more just, peaceful, and sustainable world.